thought we hung tough for three quarters, and um, our youth and Mississippi State's um, just, they're a great basketball team, and uh, they went on a run, and we, could, we couldn't answer, so. But proud of our kids, and um, we'll focus on this for 24 hours, and then we'll regroup and get ready for Auburn. Questions? Hi, Coach. Uh, Hi. Can you uh, talk about Mississippi State's guards, particularly in that fourth quarter when they were pushing tempo and, and getting out and running and getting a lot of easy baskets? Yeah, we, we um, played zoned and we had to go man and uh, just we gave up too many middle drives and we knew they were going to do it. And there's, there's, you, you can know they're going to do it, but they still had success. And so, um, um, and they're very good at it, and that's what they do. And, uh, you know, we didn't have an answer at that point when we, uh, you know, we were missing shots, and then I thought it affected our, our defense. But uh, you you got to get down, and regardless, you you got to get down and commit to defense. And I thought we did that until the fourth quarter. In the back. Coach, offensively, State was more of a perimeter team last year. Much different deal this year. How is that challenge defensively to kind of match up with them? Just McCowan excluded from that. Just yeah. kind of how you handle the mid-range game. Well, I, I think the addition to um, Howard has been tremendous. I mean, that, uh, uh, Ariel Howard, she's a, a competitor. She's a great rebounder. She's um, helped develop her game from the three-point line. And I think she's been an unbelievable addition for this team. And, and uh, you've got guards that um, get to the basket. And regardless if you know it or not, they got to the basket today, and we we knew what they were going to do. So, um, for us, just carry out the game plan and be attention to detail in the fourth quarter. Yeah. Obviously, they're a different team from last season, and, and as a result, Danbury did not play as much yeah. last season with so many guards. But the difference in, in her from last season to this season, and not that she's become a different player, maybe just more oh, of a she, chance to play. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, she's always been, I think, a, a, a outstanding player, and she's getting minutes. And um, she was, a, uh, she was very productive for them today, and um, uh, helped run their team. And and you know, when you get the opportunity, uh, and she's given the opportunity, she's taken advantage of it. And uh, she had a great night. We didn't. Again, the fourth quarter was not. Uh, we didn't have an answer for her. We face some teams that could win a national championship this yep. year. Can you put in perspective, as you guys have that, haven't seen Notre Dame, haven't yep. seen Stanford, how does this Mississippi State team compare? In that well, I, I think they've got a great opportunity. I, I, I think when you have a strong inside game and you have guards that are super quick uh, and guards that can shoot the three, it's a big challenge. And um, you can't make a lot of mistakes. I thought the, the – first three quarters for us we we didn't but when you get a rebound you got to hold on to it um they grind it out they're competitors and i i don't see any reason why they can't compete for a championship those notre dame's a different style team stanford's a different style team but um this team vic, vic has them they're athletic players who who specialize in a lot of different things and um i think they've got a great shot at it can't make a lot of mistakes against them, as you see. And we didn't at the beginning, but they capitalized on it. You know, you mentioned you've got an, an incredibly young team, and yeah. obviously it's tough today with ha having to sit um, Avina. Yeah. What do they learn? What do you take, as tough as that fourth quarter was, what do you take out of hanging with them for three quarters, and, and how do those kids, you know, get something from that? You know, Michelle – these kids are, I will tell you this, they're competitive, and uh, I don't, honestly, I don't really look at them as, oh, you're a freshman, you're a, I just want them to compete, and um, they got in some situations, and they didn't, they didn't handle it, but, you know, Renaya Davis, as a, she was, that's probably one of the best games I've seen Renaya play, um, so it's about learning, and every loss we have learned, I will promise you that, and they are young, but we're going to roll with them. We, that's all we got. But you know what? I'm glad I have them. I love this team. Um, 
for the most part, they play hard, and that's all I ask them. And we're going it's 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 a uh, learning situation for us each game, and we're, we we've played a competitive schedule, and y'all know how tough the SEC is, and, and we're just gonna it just challenges you you and makes you better. So we're gonna we're gonna continue to ride on that and and continue to get better. One final question from Adam. You mentioned some of their guards. Uh, Scott comes off the bench, and obviously she didn't play against Alabama. But what what kind of a dimension does she she give them in the sense that she could drive a little bit, she could shoot the three, three a little bit? Yeah, I, I uh, you know we lost her shooting the three. I think she's explosive. Um, you know, I uh, all their guards they they um, they bring a they bring a difficulty because they're super quick penetrators and. Uh, and it's really difficult when you can also shoot the three. And uh, that's what she did today. All right. Thank you.